Phase is set to fun. I'm re reviewing the remote control. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here again. I'm going to review a remote control. It's specifically the Star Trek original series remote control phaser and this thing I've had it for a, for a while bought it from new absolutely love this box is not really don't have go very well with them um, keeping things mint and pristine but the interiors are absolutely spot-on so this is made by the wand company I think it is they made a lot of Harry Potter ones when they were first coming out they do the remote controls, do a couple of buttons on hidden on the handles, but this is this is just something different. Go through the box art, original phaser there, one company, start with the original series. The side just shows you back end of the phaser there. Nothing much, just universal remote control. Right. Let's zoom in a little bit on this. This is the original series. Star Trek Phaser, an advanced gesture based remote control. I have never used this as a remote control because I just think it's such a amazing, an amazing bit of kit, bit of, of building. They're all charged up by USB, so no bother with batteries. Lights up, sounds, it's absolutely stunning. So, let's get this zoomed out again. Let's get into this thing. Right. To start with, let's get rid of the box. Start with it comes with an instructions book. I'll come back to that in a second. Instructions for use. Yeah. Look <laughs> at that for a bit of artwork. Wow. That's a right bit of artwork lying out. Barely fits on the just fits on the screen. It's amazing. And I collect the um, Ships of the Line calendars and very, very similar artwork. The moon, a phaser. This has got to be CGI'd anyway. Can't, it can't be real. I don't think there's that much detail on this. But it gives you full instructions how it works. If my screen has stopped wobbling once in its life. There you go. Yeah, I'll show you how to put the phaser in. I'll show you that in a second anyway, with its own screwdriver. All the gesture operations, so it's not just pressing buttons and firing the um, firing the, the trigger, it's actual movement and stuff like that. With, I've got a few um, Doctor Who um, Sonics to review pretty soon. Because the new series is coming out soon and the new Doctor's um, Sonics will be coming out, I think it's next week, week after, I don't know, a couple of weeks or so. So you have to program the phaser from the remote control from another remote control instead you just put your, your numbers in or whatever but yeah like I said never used it as a um, remote control and I'll show you why right this comes in solid plastic box designed by the one company but it's 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 a proper yeah put your name on there if you want Signed by, obviously you can get this to Comic Con or something and get it signed by either one of the people who made this or maybe an actor or something. Being brilliant to do with that. Getting in, this front part here with it, squeezes the side, pops open. It's just, it gets me how it's just like a, here you go, it's issued in its own, um, not flight case, but its own plastic case. Even hinged, so you're going to worry about the, um, if there was a piece of pla thin plastic on there, which would do for a hinge for a, a couple of weeks until it broke. But look at that. Everything's it's foam padded on here. It's all moulded to itself. All secured and glued in. So soft. Well, that's just the lid. Comes with its own stand. Comes with its own screwdriver. Pull open. I'll tell you why in a second. Your standard issue phaser stand now this is a magnetic stand when you get the um the handle when it's not on the side it sticks to it magnet magnetizes to it so 
let's put that to the side there. This isn't a battery. I would have thought this would have been a battery, but it isn't. There's just a big magnet on the bottom. It is obviously the power cell if it was a if it was real, but it's not. So all you do out of the box, connect this into there, and then you need your screwdriver. Your NCC1701 screwdriver. Yes, that's right good. I don't even trust you to get your own screwdriver. So you screw this in place. And once it's it, it feels like it's, it's properly uh, machined, properly put together. I just feel, when you, each turn of the screw it's just solid. Oh, that's done enough. That's your Type 2 phaser. The level of detail on this is absolutely ridiculous. Let me get up close to you. You know the fins on the bike, you see straight through into the fins. Amazing detail. The dial on the top, turns around for the different settings. These obviously connect to the Type 1 to get the power from it. Press that in, we'll release the Type 1. Not a viewfinder, well, not really a viewfinder, is it? But it shows the front of the phaser. A phaser emitter. You turn this round and the actual end bit will go in and out and either a longer or a shorter I don't know if that makes it a these aren't real anyway but if it makes it a more of a focused laser or what trigger point on there but this is my best part here you turn this take that out and you've actually got a crystal in there wow how cool I don't even see that how cool is that but that gets better. The quality on this, I think they actually said that they, um, they made these off of the last original um, screen shot, well screen accurate um, phaser, 3D printed everything, 3D scanned everything and made everything out of metal. It's, it's absolutely a stunning piece. Type 1. I mean this is so exact as it should be you've got underneath you've got a button for for firing right there your phaser emitter brass parts could have been a bit more polished led at the end and your dial but also pull that forward and your sights pop up and the level of detail for this for a remote control is ridiculous you slide it up, it gets into place. Absolutely amazing. So this obviously goes on two, type two, clicks into place. There it goes. And you got a fully functional original series phaser. Now, turn it on. This here does not roll to get different settings, it is just a power button. So you press it and hold. Three modes on this, FX. Oh. Alright, turn it off. FX mode. Practice mode. Control mode. So that's in So that's a full remote control mode. FX mode. But I want the FX mode because I will never use it for anything else. Sorry. Need to shut you then. Right. Setting zero. There's absolutely nothing. Setting one. I think I prefer that a bit longer. That's better. Comes out with proper. Amazing little piece. It's absolutely ridiculous the level of. Level of detail on this thing. Power it down, press hold. Turns off. Absolutely amazing. It's just, it's, it's everything. It's the box. It's the stand. No faffing. No. 
it's just I'm in awe of this completely. It's an amazing piece. the lights off a second right let me go through the full settings on this like I said, I'm completely in awe with this, this is an amazing piece right setting one it's a red laser at the end setting two it's more of a greeny see the colors change on it it's not just green there's a blue in there as well setting three blue blue and a red and a purple Setting four, yellow, orange, pink. Setting five. These are obviously the um, higher settings. Let me just show you something. If you take the side off with the crystal, it does glow inside as well. Very high pitched. Kind of hurts. Setting six. Setting seven. Some of these obviously stun and kill. Setting eight. That sounds more like the phaser banks on the ship, actually. I think this is my favourite. Setting nine. Self destruct. See all the speak. All the noise comes from the speaker on the top. Going yellow. You can stop this by pressing the phaser button again. But I'm not going to. And a disappointing explosion at the end. <laughs> but you can take the phaser one off. Use not use that button. The button at the bottom. I think I have to change that round. I think. Let's put that onto number four. Try that one. Let's take this off. Yeah. So you can't change the actual settings on this. Not, not that I know of. But unless you plug it into this, it can change the setting on that. Just an absolute amazing, amazing thing. Love that to bits. One of my um, best pieces that I've got. <laughs> Even the screw tray is ridiculous. Yeah. But, yeah, love that. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Like and subscribe. Shoot, fire, phasers on stun. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Really, thank you very much for watching. Bye.